I make glass art and I wanted to start incorporating some steel and stainless steel and copper into the artwork. So I bought this Miller Diversion 165 for TIG welding a few months ago. And I've been very happy with it. It has a nice, simple control panel, does what I need. On-off switch, material thickness, amperage knob, ranges from 22 gauge metal up to 3 16ths of an inch, and then a switch between aluminum and stainless steel. Now the torch is attached to the machine. It looks like it would be a real pain to remove it, switch out torches, but that really hasn't been an issue for me. This torch has been just fine. Uh, haven't had any issues with the torch and I just can't see a time when I would want to switch it out anyways. Now the only thing I didn't like about the machine was the foot pedal. It's also the only part of the machine that isn't covered by their warranty. It looks like they outsourced it to some other country. Uh, the machine itself is made in the USA. Woohoo! Now the foot pedal, from day one, it started sticking. I pick my foot up off the pedal and I would still have an arc. I'd have to reach down and pull the pedal up. So pretty much immediately I replaced the pedal with this nice big solid pedal made by SSC Controls and it's specifically for the Miller Diversion and it's made in the USA. Yay! <laughs> and it's been great for me. Nice control with it. And you can see there's a Faraday cage around the machine. That's because the machine has a high frequency start and it also has high frequency when you switch over to the aluminum. And the high frequency was interfering with my cable modem. So after building this uh, chicken wire Faraday cage, it's been fine. Plus, it's kind of cool looking, so it, it worked out great. Overall, I've just been really happy with the machine. Uh, good value for the price, and good job, Miller. Thanks for listening. Bye.